Hello everyone and welcome back. I flew back into Minnesota uh, yesterday uh, probably about 7 o'clock, a little after 7. When I left Louisiana it was right around 90 degrees with a feels like of, it was like 105. It was so humid. Got off the plane here two hours and 38 minutes later. It was 49 degrees actual temp. I had a short sleeve shirt on. <laughs> Felt like it was winter time. Anyway, I got the stove here set outside and I put together two of the sections of the black stove pipe that I picked up. Got my damper put in there nice and straight across, just how I like it. And in a little bit here, it's time to do the initial burn to get the stove cured. If you guys watched the last video I posted right before I went down to Louisiana and saw my new cylinder stove stove, I showed you this here and it does tell you what you're supposed to do for the first burn and curing the stove. I remember when I put the original stove in the tent, the one that this one is replacing, and Zach and I were up there and burned it that first time, I had not burned it outside. And uh, believe me, if you have a chance to, it's good to burn it outside because it's going to smell like, I don't know, whatever, burnt, you know, everything kind of has to burn off of it. And it got pretty smoky inside the tent. Well, unlike my usual way up at the tent of using lighter fluid, I want to start a slower fire in this the first time. Just let it heat up slow and then I'm going to load it up pretty good and we want to let this thing burn for at least an hour and we're going to want the uh, damper to be set down to about halfway, probably run the draft about halfway also. When I install my damper, I always like to keep it up about 16 inches or so from the top of the stove for two reasons. For one, you know, there's a lot of heat that goes right here and it gets stopped at the damper. So you get more heat coming into the tent. And also, if I have my, if I'm going to take a shower and I heat it up on the wood stove, when I put the thing here, I shove it up tight against here and you get all this heat coming off the backside that helps heat that water up quicker. See the oil and everything kind of burning off and curing on to the stove now. I was looking up this hot water heater that I call it the water reservoir and because uh, we were talking last time on the last video I thought it was aluminum and somebody did mention is that stainless and it is made of 20 gauge stainless steel and I actually uh, brought that downstairs and started to clean it up and I only have played with this for about a minute. I just ran hot water over on this side, no soap or anything, and you can see it cleans right up. All this is is grease and dirt from being in the tent and stuff being cooked on the stove and everything for all those years. So I'll get this scrubbed up and I think it's gonna turn out real nice. She's burning off good now. It's getting nice and hot. You never wanna burn these so they get red hot though. It's just not good for the stove at all. It's getting that more dull colored top like I'm used to. And that heat feels good. Deer hunting is right around the corner. I can't wait to get this baby fired up. This stove seems to be just nice and tight like the other one was. I can open this all the way up and she really kicks it out. Or I can shut it all the way down and it just smolders it right down. And I really
really do like this stove. Well, like I said, you want to let that burn for an hour at least, and this will burn longer than an hour. I'm just going to let all that burn out now. And that's the proper way to do the first burn and cure your stove. She's been burning for about an hour now. Even the stove pipe itself, all the shiny is off of it. Everything is dulled up here. Fire's burning down. Apparently vinegar is a good cleaner polisher for stainless steel. Although I think I got this about as clean as it's going to get. I'm going to clean up the shelf now. I'm not as worried about the shelf because the shelf gets used constantly. This is where I put meat in the winter time when it's frozen so it can thaw next to the stove. This thing, the shelf, yeah, it gets a lot of use. Okay, well this is the big moment. It's two stoves built over 10 years apart, same shelf. Let's see if it'll fit in there. It does. Okay everyone, well there it is, ready for the tent. The, st the stove is still a little bit warm right now, but I'm going to leave it out overnight tonight. And now I'm going to be bringing this up to the tent either this weekend or the following weekend, depending on how work goes here. Um, I have to do it one of those two weekends because the weekend after that is duck hunting, which is in a totally different part of the state. And I have the big, you know, you guys watch those videos every year, the duck hunting opener. And I have to bring home my waders are on the top bunk at the tent. Uh, my grouse hunting vest is up there. I have to bring home the snowmobile trailer so I can haul my canoe up. Anyway, a lot of stuff I have to bring back. So this will be going up fairly shortly. I did buy a piece of half inch dura rock today. This is going to go underneath the stove. I'm also going to make a modification to the tent just above the stove. That's the only part, if you're looking at the stove in the tent, if you follow the pitch of the roof down to where it hits the wall, right there is the only place where the canvas is rotted on the tent. And that's because it gets so much moisture can come through where the stove pipe comes in. And it's just not as tight right there, so I'm actually going to put a piece of green treated plywood over the top of that canvas, and then I'm going to cut a hole in it where the stovepipe goes through. And on top of that, I'm going to put this because that's the only place where the critters get in is between the stovepipe and the tent. So by putting this there, this is still going to leave a little bit of a gap, which is all right by me because it dries everything out if that hot air can come through but it'll keep squirrels and pine martens from coming in and it'll also be a lot safer now because I'm just a little worried that canvas is starting to rot. I can put this in. It's got the other roof above it so I don't worry about it leaking in any water from rain but I do want to get that tightened up and just uh, just a little bit better. I'll show you the rot when we get up there. Last time I was up to the tent you can remember that we ran out of uh, propane for the cook stove so I replaced it with one that I had up there so I went and got another one today so I have another extra full one up there and it's just time to start getting everything ready for deer hunting all the wood has to be loaded onto the front porch stove will be working real well I'm really excited thanks a lot for watching everybody I will see you guys on the next video